I realized at 18 years old I had yet to learn about an issue that will destroy humanity. Now, I also realized this couldn't entirely be my fault. So in an effort to divert the attention away from my own ignorance, I decided to write my paper to my alma mater, Carlsbad High School. More specifically, I wrote my paper to the teachers at Carlsbad High School. After graduating from CHS and moving on to pursue higher education, I noticed a particular gap in my knowledge far too imperative to go unannounced. That gap is climate change. The good news is, I realized I'm not alone in my ignorance. In fact, a study at Yale University found that only 54% of teens admit that global warming is happening. On the homepage of their website, CHS claims that they provide an extraordinary education, yet this education failed to teach me about the most imminent problem facing humanity today. In California, curriculum standards are issued by the state. Schools are expected to meet the criteria outlined by the California Board of Education. This criteria is reviewed and revised every few years. Schools are given budgets to spend on resources that will help them reach this state criteria, and how that budget is spent is usually determined regionally. So in this case, it's determined by the San Diego Unified School District. The curriculum mandated by the California Board of Education provides an outline. I propose the faculty work together to augment the curriculum already established. In doing so, Carlsbad High School should introduce interdisciplinary climate change education. Education has the ability to enlighten the 46% of teens that fail to acknowledge climate change. By writing to CHS faculty, I aim to make them believe that education is climate change's kryptonite. For the sake of clarity and organization, I organized my paper into a cover letter, followed by four appendices. The first appendix addresses how schools teach climate change. Teachers and textbooks rarely discuss climate change at all. In fact, in the three courses of science students are required to take at CHS, biology, physics, and chemistry, not one of their disciplinary core ideas or textbooks listed in the curriculum addresses climate change beyond a brief description within the context of a larger topic. An analysis of CHS's textbook and DSI inadequacies can be found in the first appendix of my paper. The second appendix analyzes how curriculum addresses climate change. Curriculum mandated by the state of California teaches climate change as a phenomena only relative to coastal communities, but the effects of climate change are much more widespread. Recent revisions to California's science curriculum moves classroom education towards studying relevant and pressing issues like climate change, yet the topic remains generally untouched. This appendix analyzes these revisions. This appendix also discusses how two coastal communities in Canada successfully experimented with teaching students about the causes and effects of global warming. The ambiguity of the curriculum provided in California leaves room for CHS to mimic the kind of experimentation seen in Canada. As teachers, I hope they see the urgency and value of teaching students about an issue they are facing, whether they know it or not. More details regarding curricular technicalities can be found in Appendix 2 of my paper. The third appendix discusses the importance of introducing interdisciplinary education to students at CHS. Topics as multifaceted as our world's climate cannot be approached solely from a scientific perspective. This appendix addresses how each course should have a series of lessons responsible for examining how climate change has affected this particular aspect of students' reality. In this section, I also discuss how interdisciplinary education rarely comes up at the high school level, but appears when students enter college. Integrating interdisciplinary curriculum with the subject of climate change offers an educational experience that will benefit not only the students, but society. Making education interdisciplinary also forces teachers to work together. Combining their intelligence with that of their coworkers will lead to higher level thinking amongst educators, which will continue to heighten intellectual standards at CHS. Success in interdisciplinary climate change, education, in a Canadian school district, mentioned in this third appendix, provides a methodology that CHS can mimic. Interdisciplinary climate change education will produce revolutionary thinking amongst teachers and students, and this appendix provides research to support how and why this is possible. The fourth and final appendix acknowledges that alongside the materials and resources needed to integrate climate change education, 
Teachers need certain tools to properly educate students about such a complex subject. The fourth appendix provides research to support the claim that teachers do not currently have the knowledge or resources available to them to properly teach climate change inside of every classroom. This appendix also brings to light the vast amount of resources available to schools and their faculty that aim to teach educators about climate change and also aid them in teaching students. The best part is, many of these resources don't even cost a thing. Now, I understand that changing an entire curriculum because of one problem seems like a lot of trouble, but climate change education is far too valuable to be overlooked. My letter mentions how a group of high school students got the New York Department of Education to include lessons on climate change in K-12 schools. These high school students were affected by Hurricane Harvey. Some of them lost everything. They took that tragedy and they did their research. And they put their thoughts and emotions and turned them into actions. Those actions produced real change. We should not wait until our houses are washed away to acknowledge the detriments of our changing climate. If teenagers are capable of enacting this kind of change, I believe teachers hold just as much, if not even more power when it comes to making a difference. Changing the way schools define and approach climate change will make a lasting impact. Climate change uniquely affects each and every one of us. My letter urges teachers to increase the proactivity they instill among students regarding real world problems like climate change. Teachers have the power to change the way the next generation solves problems. I sincerely hope, for the sake of society's future, that my letter makes them seriously consider implementing interdisciplinary climate change education into their current curriculum.